Hello, and we hope this communication finds you well, and we appreciate being able to reach out to you periodically here as the fall approaches. We really do try to not bury you with emails, so we choose our spots as we can. So, as you're watching this, it's always important to acknowledge that if things are going well with your weight management, that is wonderful. There's nothing like the feeling of being in action in this area of one's life. If, however, you've been thinking about your weight and have yet to get into the action that you're hoping for, well, keep listening here. A lot's been happening in the weight management field recently, and at the top of the list is the increased interest in weight loss medications. It's an interesting choice that people are faced with now, and there's no one right answer for everybody. I will say, though, that if you're interested in Ozempic or Wagovi, the number one directive from the medical field is to, while you're losing weight, make lifestyle changes. Lifestyle changes are the top priority, even if you're on one of these medications. And a recent white paper on these drugs found that after two years, only 8% of people were still taking them. Think about that. If those who do stop taking the meds, and that's more than 90% of people, don't develop some new healthy habits, then I think we know what's going to happen on the scale once the food chatter comes back. And that's how they describe it, food chatter. Now, what if you're not interested in these weight loss medications? Well, the number one directive is to still make lifestyle changes. Because as we all know, that's how you lose weight and that's how you manage a weight loss over time. There's no getting around it. It always comes back to our lifestyle. And you know, even with these medications, this is no easy task. And that's a point that we've been discussing a lot in our coaching sessions. The world around us is making weight management harder. And everyone has examples that they can share about that, even if you're on the medications. So we're inviting you to just consider if this is the right time for you to be working on your weight. With the summer behind us and the holidays well ahead of us still, is this a good time to get back into a coaching loop around your health and around your lifestyle? Bill and I are really so grateful for the amazing community that we're building with Next Step. It's a very close-knit community with so much support. And whether you want to lose weight in phase one or work on getting healthy routines back in place in phase two, which might include some weight loss, with some of the changes that we've instituted, the partnership that we're providing now is the strongest that it's ever been. So here are a few quick updates on what we've been up to. Starting first with losing weight in phase two with more food option. This is probably the biggest change that we've made in the program the 1.5 box. We've got the phase one box, which we know produces weight loss, but our members spoke and we listened. Phase two needed more structure. So enter the 1.5 box. And if you wanna hear more about this, we have a three part video series that introduces it, explains the theory behind it, and takes you through how to build your own 1.5 box. The link to those videos is in the description below. Okay, next, we've launched two new food cafes to help people make healthier dietary choices. Yes, food cafe. First, we have our HMR cafe, offering the full line of HMR foods at the best prices that you will find. Even though we can now use alternative shakes with Next Step or store-bought entrees, if you want more variety, we really have come to the conclusion that HMR still offers the best tasting shakes around. And we're really happy to be able to, again, make them as affordable as possible. Again, we have the lowest prices you will find. And if you have any questions about our pricing, please see our cost video. The link to that is also in the description below, where I'll talk about the savings available when you purchase HMR foods through Next Step. And then we have our newest cafe, Advanced Health Systems, a shake manufacturer who also happens to make the HMR shakes. They're highly credentialed and have been around for over 50 years. I mean, they even have a chocolate expert. And while we think HMR still offers the best tasting blended shakes, we chose Advanced Health Systems because we feel they make the best tasting pudding shakes, along with the best protein bars. Now, I'm not gonna bore you here with all the taste testing and the experimenting that we did that had us choosing advanced health systems. That's another video. But rest assured, between our HMR Cafe and our Advanced Health Systems Cafe, we have you covered. And with our two online food cafes, we're simply providing more options, more flexibility, more ways to simplify how to eat healthy. And this is on top of several other changes that we've introduced to the program to help our members customize their own health management. For example, the use of store-bought soups as an entree replacement, as long as they meet our specific nutritional guidelines. This is just another way to bring up the savory elements of the plan 
while lowering the calorie density of your diet. Next, we introduced skinny noodles as an in-the-box food, whether they're shirataki noodles or cognac noodles or made with hearts of palm. And we count them as a vegetable because they are made from vegetables. So they're options in the phase one box and we take advantage of them in phase two as well. And our members are really digging the experience of being able to eat pasta and feeling guilt-free about it. This has been a great change. And relating back to our new line of puddings, we're currently in the process of rolling out our Pudding Tumbler Challenge as an effective environmental control strategy so that when you're away from home, you always have something that you can say yes to. These puddings have 20 to 30 fewer calories less than the HMR 120, but more protein, which gives greater satiety. And anecdotally, the favorite pudding flavor that's emerged has been creamy cookie with the tangy lemon probably being the biggest surprise as another favorite. So we're having a lot of fun with our membership on this and we're just trying to make weight loss and weight management a little bit easier, a little bit more engaging and less of a burden. Something that I'm sure everyone can appreciate. And the last thing I'll update you on here is that we've been piloting what we're calling the Next Step Class Nugget, a short series of highlights from our coaching sessions to provide more support between the coaching sessions. And we've had a tremendous response to this. If you want to get a sense of these short class nuggets, just click on the first one in the description below and it'll take you through the series. Some members have shared they even do repeat viewings of these class nuggets. So everything that I've shared with you here are just some of the advantages that we have with the next step in that we're able to make dynamic changes to the program in response to and with the help of our close-knit community of members. All of this while never losing sight of what works for weight loss and weight management over time, being research-based. So we're now more than halfway through 2024, and with 2025 approaching, a good question to end on is, what's next for you? Again, if you're on a roll, that is great. Congratulations. But if you want to get on more of a roll, reach out to us, whether it's for more support with your lifestyle choices, diet and exercise, or if it's time to get more serious about your weight and weight loss, or you just want a thought partner to think through any of the above, we're here to help. Just email us at rick at nextsteplifestylecoaching.com. And thank you so much for watching.